Seven years old. I've lived here uh, since 1979. Uh, the um, uh, this uh, this old uh, G GMC van, I think it's 1962. Uh, <clears throat> uh, back in 1979, it was my um, my uh, home. And I was, and I traveled from place to place, and I carried all everything I owned in it, and I put my I had my canoe on top, and uh, uh, my girlfriend and I found this place in 1979, and we were come here to camp and make a base camp for the winter, and we, uh, and so it become. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize back then, but that was his last voyage when I come up here. We. Uh, I found this place by accident and decided to camp here with my girlfriend in 1979. She was a mountaineer and we uh, made our temporary camp here and here 30 years later. It, it feels very permanent in the sense that it feels like home. Uh, this is uh, most at home I feel uh, any place since I left my, the place I was born. Uh, so I, I, this is where I decided in the world to settle down. Definitely, it was a beautiful place. And when I uh, I come here one time to help somebody get firewood, there was an old clear cut, and uh, all the trees were down. But it was so beautiful that panorama of the mountains and the lake and all that that I said, "Oh, that'd be a nice place to live." Yeah, we had a place to store the books that was uh, relatively well sheltered so uh, over the years it accumulated a lot of a lot more books and now it's known as the library so, and uh, i imagine it's here to stay you know, i don't think i'll ever get back on the road again this morning. 